Would you like to do some drawing? Well, not really, Mr. Dressup. I feel like keeping on playing this animal game. Oh, well, I... Oh, oh. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Naomi. Naomi. Naomi, do you want to play this animal guessing game with me? Sure, that sounds like fun. Well, okay. if you two are going to do that, I'll go inside and do some drawing, and maybe you can come in the house in a little while. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Okay, let's play, Naomi. All right, see if you can guess what animal this is. Hmm. What's that? Is it a snake or something? Oh. Oh, it's a heavy something. I know, I know. I bet you it's a trunk and you are an elephant. Yeah, you're right. Good guessing, Annie. <laughs> It's my turn. Okay, guess this. Okay. <gasps> I'll do it again. Okay. Well, this is a hard one, Annie. Can you give me another clue? Okay. This animal sounds like this. <gasps> Roar! I know you're a lion. You're right. I am a lion. A lion pounces just like this. Pounce, pounce, pounce. A lion pounces just like this. Pounce, pounce, pounce. It twitches its tail and gives a loud roar. Its long furry mane almost touches the floor. A lion pounces just like this. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Hee! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> but you know, I'm getting kind of tired now. Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah, you want to go play at the treehouse instead? Sure, Annie, let's go. Okay. Do you know what my drawing idea is? Well, of course you don't, because I didn't say. But I'll tell you now, it's going to be a drawing guessing game. Mm -hmm. I think we're playing a lot of guessing games today. So this time, I'm going to draw some things. And what you have to guess is which one of them is kind of different from the others. And for what reason. For instance, the first I'll draw... Oh, I'll draw this. Do you know what this is? It's long. And it's yellow, and it's a banana, right? Now I'll draw this, and that is going to be this color. Red, so that's an apple. And now I'll draw this. All these things are quite good to eat, aren't they? And that, you know, is a, a pear. So I'm going to draw something else now that's quite good to eat. And it looks like this. And lots of times they're in sort of a little wrinkly paper cup and they could have nuts in them or raisins or dates. It's a muffin. So we've got one, two, three, four different tasty treats. But one of them doesn't quite fit with the other ones. Do you know what it is? Well, the pear and the apple and the banana are all fruit, and the muffin is not a fruit, so that's the one that doesn't quite fit. Get the idea now? Okay, I'll do another one. I will now draw uh, something that uh, you ride on. You put both feet on it, and it goes rolling down the street. And when you use it, it's a good idea to be wearing a helmet because you might slip off. And that, of course, is called a skateboard. Yes. And then we have something else that uh, could look sort of like this. And has a front end that might look like that. And it has wheels. The skateboard has wheels too. And this is a car. 
And then I think I'll make the car sort of a pinky purpley color. And then we have something else that looks like uh, this. Doesn't have any wheels, does it? It's a horse. And uh, then we'll have one more thing. And this is something that you might see up in the air, flying overhead. And it's got a propeller on the end of it. And what is that? It's an airplane. So we've got all different ways of getting around from one place to another, but one of them is not like the others, and that's because that one is a horse. <laughs> right, the others are, all have wheels or propellers, but the horse is a living thing. Okay, let's do another one. This is something that... Uh, has a waggly tail. And then here's another nice little pet to have. And this one goes meow. So we have a cat here and we have a dog there. And then here we have a bowl. And there's a little fish swimming around in the bowl. And then we have a little animal with long ears and a twinkly nose and very soft fur. And that's a rabbit. So we have a, a rabbit with a little tail and we have a cat and we have a dog and we have a goldfish. Now, one of those is not quite like the other things. And which is it? It's the goldfish, because that's the one pet that you have to keep in a bowl of water, and the others would certainly not want to be in a bowl of water, right? So, that's the guessing game. I think I'll put it up on the board here so we can play it later on another time. Deep. There we go. So that's a nice game. Oh, hi, Annie. Hi, you Mr. Came Dress in. Up. Could we ask you a question, Mr. Dress Up? Sure could. What is the question? We found these old pillowcases in the treehouse. I mean, wonder if we could use them to make a surprise. Oh, please say yes. Please, oh, please, please. Well, oh, yeah, they're old ones. Sure, certainly could. Oh, yes. This is going to be so cool! <laughs> we also need two more things to make our surprise. Uh -huh. Maybe three. We need some black construction paper. Black paper. Tape and scissors. Tape and scissors. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's those. see. Well, I've got some... Well, take a look at this. This is not exactly paper. It's more cardboard. Would oh, that work all right? Yeah. I think that'll and be And scissors. Great. Very well. I've got scissors right here. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Tape. Great. There you go. Okay. Okay. But I think we need some newspaper as well. Oh, newspaper. You'll yes. find the newspaper in the blue recycling box. Take okay. all you want. I'll go get it. Okay. We also need two more things. Oh. A hat and a scarf. A hat and a scarf. I should have some of that right here in the tickle trunk. In fact, I have a lot of hats in there today, and I know I've got a scarf or two. So, uh, how about uh, this hat? How about well, that? it's a nice hat, but it's not the right one. Oh, not the right one. What okay. other hats do you have? Oh, I have uh, a baseball hat. How about that? Oh, uh, sorry, it's still not the right one. Anything else? Uh, I do have some other. How about uh, that uh, sort of a top it's hat? It's perfect. Is it? It's just what we need. Oh, great. Well, that's the one you take. And uh, oh, we said a scarf too. Wait. Scarf. Okay, I've got a couple. Here's one scarf. It's very, well, very long. great. Is I it? love it. All right. Okay. So, that's all you need for now? 
Yep, I think I'll go with Annie and we'll start making the surprise. Okay. But don't come out to the garden for a few minutes because it'll take a while for us to make it. All right, I'll, I'll wait a little while. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I wonder what kind of a surprise they could have. Hmm. Let's see, they need a scarf. Scarf is something that you wear in cold weather, though. So maybe it's some sort of a cold weather surprise. Oh, I know what I can do. While I'm waiting to go out, I can make a surprise for them. And this can be a cold weather surprise, too. I'll need some paper. There's some, yeah, white paper for this. And scissors, and actually that's all I need for the surprise. Uh, now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take one square of white paper, and it has to be square to make this work. And I fold it point to point, so I now have a triangle. Three. <coughs> Three ends make a triangle. And then I fold it again. And I have another triangle, but it's just a little smaller. <coughs> and then I fold it again. And now it's a much smaller triangle. Now I make one more fold, and that's this folded side goes to this folded side, right over like that. And that's the way I end up with something like that. Now I'm going to do some cutting. And I'll just start at this little corner here and cut it up like that. And I don't need this, so I'll put that to one side. And now I'm going to do some other cutting. The first cut I'll snip off that end there, and then I'll make little cuts in different ways, in and skinny cuts like that, and other cuts like this, and then I'll turn it around this way, and do some more cutting in here, that, into the folded parts, There's something like that, it's starting to unfold while I'm doing it. Uh, I don't know what this will look like, but let's open it up and see what it's going to be. And it's a cold weather surprise, and we have a snowflake. <laughs> okay, I think I'll make one other, and then I can surprise them. By that time, it should be time to go out and see what their surprise for me is. So fold it again, corner to corner, triangle. Fold it again, corner to corner, another triangle. Fold it again, corner to corner, another triangle. And now we take this folded edge and fold it over to that folded edge. So we have this. Then <clears throat> cutting again, I cut from this corner right here, sort of follow that edge like that and this part I don't need. And then, this little skinniest point, that's going to be the middle part of the snowflake, so we snip that off so it'll have a, a hollow middle. And then we just start making these kinds of cuts. Into the fold. And this one, me. Careful not to cut all the way through, because that would spoil it. It would really wreck the snowflake. Another cut right here. The thing I like about doing this is you never know what it's going to look like until you unfold it. Maybe I'll save these little scraps of paper that I'm cutting out and use them for another project. Maybe they could be stars or snow or something like that. Open it up. Oh, I think this is going to be a beauty. I think it's going to be a lovely, lovely snowflake. There, how do you like that? <laughs> well, okay, now all I have to do is tidy up here and then I'll take this out and show it to uh, Naomi and Annie, so I'll see you outside. How does it look, Annie? It looks great. Fabulous. Mr. Dressup won't be able to believe his eyes when he sees it. <laughs> hey, I think he's coming right now. Oh, you know what? Let's hide and surprise him. Yeah. Come on. 
I'm a snowstorm. Here comes the snowflakes blowing away. All right, Annie and Naomi, here I am. Where's the surprise? I wonder where they are. I thought they were going to have a surprise for me. Whoa, oh, oh, shoot, oh, oh. <laughs> Will you look at that? A snowman. So that's why they needed those pillowcases. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. What a wonderful surprise this is. It's terrific. So oh, how do you boy. like our snowman? I think it's just excellent, excellent. <laughs> and I, I got a surprise for you two, too. Oh, you do? Yes. A winter surprise. It's a couple oh, of snowflakes. Snow wow. Do you have that tape that I gave you? Because uh, if I can use yeah, it, I can tape them up here. here. Oh, thank you. If I find the end of it, I'll put these up, and then we'll have... <laughs> That's wonderful, a snowman. That's going to look just and like winter. I made some snowflakes. So wow. let's put one right, right here. That's a big snowflake. Oh, yes. Well, it's a very wintry winter here. And one more. There, you can put that oh, back, here. Naomi, if you will. And uh, this one can go just like this. Perfect. Now we've <laughs> got a nice great. winter scene. Oh, <laughs> boy! You know what? Stop wintry and pretend to have a winter carnival right here in our backyard. Hey. That's a wonderful idea. Yes, a pretend winter carnival. Yeah. So, uh, well, I know where we can get some dress-up clothes for you and me uh, in the tickle trunk. Yeah, and and uh, Annie, I think there's some uh, clothes, winter clothes in the treehouse. If you oh. want to get dressed up in those? Good, yes, I do. All right, Naomi, <laughs> let's go inside. Let me see. I'll need something very nice and warm to cover my ears because it'll be very cold if it's winter, so I'll need a good warm hat. And a scarf would be good too because then I can wrap it around my neck. Oh, and my fingers will get cold unless I have some good warm mittens. I'm going to the treehouse to get them. Now, oh, there should be something in here that we can wear. Some, oh, this is terrific for a winter thing. Have you ever seen one of those? No, what is it? <laughs> well, it's called a muff, and uh, women and kids used to wear them a lot in the olden days. So you can just put your hands inside oh, to keep okay. them. See, that's yeah. right. Then you don't need mittens. <laughs> and uh, there's a that fur-trimmed hat will go just oh, right pretty. with the muff. Oh, you look terrific. Right, Are you warm enough? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now there should be something here for me. Uh, yeah, I think this would be good. There's a toque. This will keep me very, very warm. And I think there's a scarf right here, yes. Well, that matches my shirt quite well. <laughs> so that's a scarf. And another glove. There it is. <clears throat> so we're going to have to pretend that it's winter out. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, you know what else we need to have, too? What's that? Musical instruments, because Musical almost instruments. every winter carnival I've ever had started off with a parade. A so, parade. Yeah, we could be the parade people. That's and be fun. we'll find something here. Would you like to play a shaker? Oh, sure. All right. And I've got a kazoo. So we can start the winter carnival parade any minute now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I wonder what's keeping Mr. Dressup and Naomi. 
I really, really, really want our winter carnival to start. Hey, what's that? It sounds like a marching band. Today is the day when we feel like marching, just like in a big parade. We're a super duper marching band, and everybody listens while we play. Stepping to the rhythm of the big bass drum, everybody keeps a beat. Left, right, left, right, one, two, one, two, marching up and down the street. And now I say, let the make-believe winter carnival begin! Yay! Yay! <laughs> All we're missing is a horse and sleigh. Oh, for the jingle bells. Oh, yeah, it's too bad we don't have one. This is a pretend carnival, isn't it? Yes. So we can have a pretend sleigh. This could be the sleigh Good right here. Idea. Right, you sit in the sleigh seats here. Okay. Pull your blankets up around you. It's going I'm to be cold. In. And I'll get old uh, Bobtail, the horse, uh, to pull the sleigh. Come on, Bobtail. Here you go, boy. Here, come on. <laughs> Back up. That's right. He's backing right in. I have to do all the harnessing now. He's got a lot of straps and things and buckles. There we go, Bobtail. All right, I'll get in, ready. grab the reins, and I think we're ready to go. So let's go on a sleigh ride. Giddy up! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! the snow in a one horse open sleigh o'er the fields we go laughing all the way ha, ha, ha. bells on bobtail ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight oh jingle, jingle bells, bells jingle bells, bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh hey <laughs> good, good old Bob. Oh, tail. that was fun. That was a nice ride. <laughs> what else can we do at our winter carnival? Mm, well, let's see. What could we do? Hmm. Well, you know, we've had a lot of guessing games today. How about one more? <gasps> yes. And this is what we can do. One of us will pretend that uh, he or she is doing something that you usually do in the winter time, okay. and the rest of us will have to guess what that is. Oh, I know. May I go first? Surely. Sure. All right. Um, okay. Mm. Oh, I think... Oh, uh, oh, I know. I know. You're downhill skiing. Good guessing, Annie. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> skiing. Uh, can I do one now? Yes. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's see. Hey, are you ready? Right. All right, Mr. Dresser. Slide down the rink quickly. He digs to the left. He digs to the right. He gets a pass from Gretzky. And he, he comes up to the goal. He shoots. He scores. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're playing hockey. Right. And I just yeah. got a goal, too. Yeah, you're a great hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's it's your turn. I Annie. have one. This is something that I love to do in the winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back once one at a time. Oh, I think I know. I like to do that too. Yeah. Yeah. When the snow is deep enough, you lie down in your back and and move your arms and your legs snow around and you angels. make a snow angel. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> that and was you a know good one. what? After I've done that and I'm really freezing cold, you know what I like to do? Uh, what? I like to drink hot chocolate. Oh, mm. yum. I love to drink hot chocolate, too. 
Yes, but you know what? You don't have to wait for winter time to have hot chocolate. We could have Don't. some right now. Oh, well, then could we have some? Well, just as soon as we do this, because it is time to say goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Till next time, bye-bye from... Naomi. Annie. And me. Mr. Tressa. <laughs>